Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Node.js full tutorial series for beginners. Today's topic is may appear as complicated, may come across like an advanced one, but trust me, these are the common things that you would need when you're working with any JavaScript or Node.js applications. Today's topic is about async and sync methods, which means these are some of the things how you control the flow and execution of your application. Welcome back friends, my name is Sridhar and this is part 11 of the Node.js full tutorial series. There are around 25 tutorials I have planned which are hands-on and live examples. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. If you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll try and help you. All right, so we are in the 11th uh, episode where we are talking about sync, async, promise, and try and catch methods. All right, so like I said, today we'll focus on sync, async, promise, try and catch. Now, these are some of the words that you throw to any developer or any junior resource. Uh, probably they'll be scared, right? Because these words uh, come across like complicated, they come across like uh, advanced and pro level, but trust me, they are not. They are for each and every developer who works on JavaScript or Node.js. After this tutorial, you'll not be scared. If you were someone who were scared or maybe had doubts how to use them, after this tutorial, all your doubts will be cleared. All right, so let's start with basics first. What's sync and what's async, right? So sync stands for synchronous uh, execution, which means it is step-by-step -step execution of the code. It is sequential, which means it will be executed from top to bottom, line by line. Now, when a request is encountered by the process, what it would do is it will wait for the request to complete and then go to the next line and the next piece of code, right? This is slow. This is slow by design, which means it, it executes each request independently and then it will process the response and then go to the next request which makes it little slow, which is by design. It's not totally waste like most people think it is, just like backbenchers, right? But they are some of the smartest people. So when used properly, sync is extremely useful in handling a lot of details, which we will learn how to use in our real-time application. The next topic is async, right? What is async? Async stands for asynchronous, which means we do not wait for anything, but we proceed with our execution of code. When request one comes in, it will be called and it will not wait. It will proceed to request number two. When the res response is received for the request, it will process and show it, right? So this is about the theoretical explanation. Hope you have at least the basic fundamental idea. Now let's get started with a lot of hands-on examples today that would show you everything in detail. And after this, your doubts will be clear cleared if any. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some notes also along for you. First, I'll create a new file called app.app2.js. You can name anything you want, all right? So this is a brand new uh, file that I'm working with. So what we'll do is we will start by writing a function, right? So we'll write a simple function, which means it will just execute whatever we implement in it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a function and say get user info. So what, let's say this, the output of this is we will user info will be returned. Okay, so what it means is uh, the user's data will be returned in from this method. And how do you call it? You just call it by saying get user info and close it. Now let's run the app. We'll say node app2.js. So it says user info will be returned, right? in the console. So this is clear. We are clear about this method and its execution. Now what we'll do is we'll write one more method which says get user contacts. What this function will do let's say is it will return us all the contacts of the user. Right? So this will return the contacts of the user. Now, how do you call it again? We'll call it like get user contacts, right? 
Now let's execute it again and we should see user info returned, return the contacts of the user, right? Because we called both the methods. Now assume that this particular method is taking time, right? It's taking 10 seconds to return the data. Worst case, right? And what we want is we cannot call user info contacts without the user information, right? Obviously, you need the user info first and based on which you would query and get the user contacts. So what we will do here is we will implement that now and we will say, since I said it will take set time out and here I'm saying it's a callback, right? So I'm going to say that this is going to, okay, I'm going to implement a, and say 10 seconds it will take, right? And here I'm going to process the data lock oh, we already have it here so let's just take this as it is okay and I'm going to say that I'm going to call a callout function and I'm going to say since this will be a callback arrow function so make sure you have gone through this correctly okay so I'm saying set timeout and it will take this method and it will return after 10 seconds. Now let's see what happens. So if you see here clearly, it executed and completed request two, right? It completed the second request first and now it is waiting on the first request. Once it the first request is also complete, it gives the data, but this is wrong, right? This is doing it because these are async methods, right? So what do we know here? async methods will be called independently and executed parallelly right they do not wait for requests to be completed right as and when we get response it will be processed right let me show you one more time now see here, I'll clear. Now you will run it here and you will see that first, the second method is complete. Whereas in our execution, we are saying first, this method should be complete and then this should be complete. But in our case, since they are async, it will be showing second method first and then the first method. Let's see that again. Pay very careful attention. So it says return the contacts of the user. So it executed the second method and it is still waiting on the first one, right? Which means it has completed the execution of second method first and the first one is still waiting. This exactly is what is called as async. And we know that Node.js is async by default. JS is by default async processing right that's what it makes it fast right that's why node.js is fast in processing right now the request comes but this is incorrect because i want the users data first and then process this so we need to make it a sync right that's where we need sync which means we need the first method to be completed and then the next method right that is what sync means that step by step right so what i want is this should be executed first and this should be executed next that is sequential order right so let's see how to write sync the same thing if i have to write i will comment this off here and what we will do we will implement something called try catch right try catch and finally right so here i will say try console.log get user info first get the user info if there is an error say that error in getting user info finally return user object Right now, return user. Now, if it will say whether it is he is authenticated or not authenticated or whatever, and then 
you want the method to be executed which is get users contacts now see this so now it will go sequentially let's see that so it says return user return the contacts of the user right you see get user info return user return the contact contacts of the user it is sequential that means first it executed this piece of code then this piece of code and finally this method right that is why it is called sync method that means it is going sequential in the order of so the first order is try this block of code then try this finally method and then finally call the method so this is exactly what is called sync method right so it executes sequentially step by step and then from top to bottom right so that is called sync method but there is another way of writing this right so we have seen sync method using try catch block right but now i'm going to show you one more way of writing sync which is through promises okay so let's see that also in action now now this is one piece of code right so let's comment this here let's comment it here right this was example number three now example number three using promises so now to see what i will write so i am saying where user is equal to i am creating a new promise now promise always takes two uh, um, parameters the first is the resolve and the second is the reject that means whenever you have your data that is resolved the execution is done whenever it is not it is rejected right so here i am creating a promise and i'm saying console.log getting user info and then here i will resolve either we can resolve or we can reject right return user info right so you have to return a promise whenever you implement promise either you it has to be resolved or it has to be rejected right so in this case i am resolving it and then i am saying dot then that means again now i will get the data and what i will do is i will print the data and then i will call get user contacts so see what i'm doing here <coughs> is i'm chaining the connection here i'm saying i have created a new promise and inside this i will write my logic to get the user write logic here right and then either resolve or reject that means if there is a problem say reject right here fail to return user right either you can resolve or you can reject i'll show you both in examples while running and then we'll say then do this if there is a error catch it and display it right so what we'll do all right and here i'm saying console.log error okay now see this so this way i am binding sequence first execute this part which is to get the user info second then call this method and if there is error catch it let's see it now first i am resolving which means it is success so let's resolve it now it's there is an error let's see what the error is it says unexpected token okay uh on line number okay uh import did we import anything oh by mistake i think okay all right um so yeah let's go ahead execute this it stays error in line number 31 uh let's see what's the error okay okay that's because i have not it's not resolve it is resolver or any name that you want to give it's a name that you are returning all right so now you see here it says getting user info 
which is inside this promise and return the contacts of the user which is inside this particular command so there is a sequence now right now instead of resolve i am rejecting it that means it has failed if it has failed it should not execute uh, get users right so let's see now see getting user info right which came here it came inside the promise then it failed so it says fail to return user but it did not execute this time right it did not execute the get users contact because it has failed right so this is another way where you can use promises to create you will create using new promise then you will resolve or reject and based on resolve or reject you can bind the second method in calling right this decides whether to call get user contacts or not if the user is available it will get if it is rejected it will not let me show you one last time so now i am resolving again and let me clear here and show you so now when i execute it says getting user info which is here and return the contacts of the user which is come going inside the second method right so this is how you can simply write um, any sync async method and you can implement try catch you can implement promise to bind and make it sync i hope your doubts will be cleared after this tutorial on sync async try catch and promises if you have any doubts just drop them in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you if you have any doubts also if you like my work you can buy me a coffee at the link i have given here i'll see you in the next episode where i will cover about i will club multiple modules objects and much more into the tutorial so i'll build start building on an application thank you so much for joining i hope you like the video give a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much